Okay, so guys, moving on to our next university, we have Clarkson University with us. Clarkson University. Okay, so it is a private research university with its main campus in Potsdam, New York, founded in 18. 96 Clarkson known for its engineering and management program our UG students have already received 37k.5 k dollars scholarship from the school the best part of this particular university is the co-ops so stay with us and learn more about uh, the Clarkson University's uh, construction engineering management program and <clears throat> has been ranked number third by the intelligent.com and to present the same I would like to call Colin with us. Colin, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Welcome uh, to the event, Colin. Great. Well, let me get started. And uh, just for the audience perspective, I will be presenting on both our undergraduate and our postgraduate programs. So if you are interested in postgraduate, please don't lose faith. I will be getting to that presently. Just to give you a sense of who's talking with you today, since all you get is my voice, uh, that's a picture of me and I'm the Senior Director of Graduate Recruitment and Enrollment Marketing. I also help on the undergraduate side. Uh, as noted just before, this uh, our main campus is in Potsdam, New York, which is in the northern part of New York State. New York State is actually quite a large state and it encompasses a lot more than just New York City. So Potsdam is up in the northern part, actually quite close to the Canadian border. And we also have a campus in uh, Schenectady, New York, called the Capital Region Campus. Here are some accolades about Clarkson and the wonderful outcomes for our students in terms of their salary earnings and the quality of the education they receive. We appear regularly in lists from Payscale, from Princeton Review, from US News, and from Forbes. We'll start with the undergraduate programs and talk a little bit about majors. We're focusing today on engineering, so we do have undergraduate majors and many in the sciences. Computer science is in the School of Arts and Sciences, but I know that many of you might be interested in computer science in addition to our, undergrad, our undergraduate engineering majors, which you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, um, aeronautical, chemical, civil, most major types of engineering are offered at Clarkson. Given the size of our community as a small to medium-sized university, one of the nice things about studying engineering is that you can study in those uh, areas of engineering that overlap more than one discipline. We're very used to working interdisciplinarily at Clarkson, and so you don't have to just uh, stay in your lane, so to speak, but you can explore other areas. In terms of admission requirements to Clarkson, these are pretty standard for many of our um, universities in the United States. We accept the Common App. We also have a Clarkson application, and there's no fee for either of those. For um, transcripts, we would need your secondary school transcripts from grades 9 through 12, uh, or your internal mark sheets. And then if you've taken national exams or international exams at grade 10 and grade 12, we would need those. Uh, you can apply without having taken the grade 12 exams yet, uh, but we would need the internals. We need two letters of recommendation. SAT or ACT is optional, and that is a permanent optional, not just for fall 2021. And we need English proficiency exam scores. Uh, if you have taken, let's say, IB or A-level curriculum, we will take your grade 10 scores in English in place of the TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo, et cetera. So there are some options to waive the English testing, but you would need to check in with us before uh, determining that you're eligible for a waiver. In terms of deadlines, we have an early decision of December 1st and a regular decision of January 15th, but for international students, the deadline is actually a rolling deadline. We will accept applications until the class is full. So if you're interested in fall 2021, don't hesitate to apply to Clarkson. 
and we will consider all applications for merit-based aid. In terms of credit for exams, sometimes this is really helpful for students who've taken uh, a demanding curriculum like AP classes, A-levels, or IB, because you can earn transfer credit, which will potentially shorten the time to degree and lower the number of semesters needed, and there's a cost savings involved with that. So if you think that may be you, if you fall into that category, please do let us know and we'll make sure that you are considered for transfer credit for those courses you took in high school. The cost of attendance for next year in terms of tuition is $54,000, but most of our international students do receive merit-based scholarships that reduce the amount of tuition substantially. It's not unusual for us to offer a scholarship of $35,000 a year. Our scholarships do not cover room and board, however, and that is about $16,000 a year. For the undergraduate students, we do expect students to stay on campus. Uh, this is a philosophical decision because we find that students just do better academically when they live and uh, study on campus in a community of people. Moving on to scholarships, as I said, all admitted students are considered, and these range from about $15,000 a year to $35,000 a year. As long as you keep your GPA in an acceptable range, that scholarship continues throughout your undergraduate studies. Uh, I included a picture of this snowmobile here just to remind you that Clarkson is located in a part of the country where it snows, and we have a lot of great activities related to the four seasons that we enjoy in the northern part of New York State. I mentioned residential life. Uh, I'll just say that we also have living learning communities where you can share your residential experiences with people who share your, partic your particular interests. Moving on to the graduate programs, what you might think of as postgraduate. I'll talk about all of the degrees, requirements, application, funding, just as I did for the undergraduate side. Our degrees at the graduate level fall into three categories. Those would be research, project, and coursework only. The master's programs, many of them have all three of these options. PhD programs, of course, are going to be research only. I have merged here <laughs> some of the engineering with the other programs, but you can see many of the same types of engineering that were available at the undergraduate level are also available at the postgraduate level. So uh, chemical, civil, construction, as was mentioned earlier, um, electrical, et cetera. We do have some programs at our capital region campus that international students could enroll in. These are professional programs. They do not include research and there are no assistantships at the capital region campus. So if you're very interested in getting an assistantship, you would need to apply to the Potsdam campus. I will um, go through the admission requirements and I highlighted there at the top because this is a big um, topic of interest and concern for people these days is um, test scores. So most departments at Clarkson are waiving the GRE at the postgraduate level. The one ex exemption, I mean, the one uh, that is not is computer science. They are not waiving the GRE, but all of the engineering departments uh, are waiving the GRE. If you have scores, they would like to see them, but if you don't have them, your application still can go into review. A completed graduate application will include our application form, and that image there just gives you a sense of what the landing page for the application looks like. We will ask for a statement of purpose, transcripts from all your post-secondary education, a resume or CV, Three letters of recommendation is the most common. A couple of programs only require two. And then we do require test scores for English proficiency. And as I said, uh, for engineering, the GRE is largely weight for this year. In terms of the application process, uh, you'll need to complete the application form. You can submit that without any documents. You can upload copies of your transcript. We do not need official transcripts for the admission review process. So just scan your um, semester-wise mark sheets and transcripts and upload those in the application 
you'll send us your, in the application, you'll give us your recommender's contact information. So they'll submit everything electronically. Once everything comes in on a rolling basis, it goes to the departmental committees and then comes the hard part, you have to wait for a decision. Those are our English proficiency test scores. We accept TOEFL, IELTS, PTE, and Duolingo. Uh, I'm so sorry, for some reason I included the old Duolingo test score. We require uh, 105 as a minimum, and we will accept, we prefer 115 or higher. There's no minimum for GREs. The average scores of admitted students are 148 verbal and 159 quantitative. Similarly, there's no minimum for GMAT. I'm sorry, someone called me. How could that happen? And um, but scores above 550 on the GMAT if you're applying for a business program would qualify you for some kind of scholarship amount. As of the undergraduate level, there are no formal deadlines. It's a rolling review process, but we're still accepting applications for fall 2021. For maximum uh, consideration, it's good to apply as early as possible. The most common question we get about the graduate level is about funding and how to get full funding. I just wanted to make sure you understand that most fully funded offers go to PhD students, but there are some master's students who do get assistantships. Those decisions are based on the match between the student's background and what the department is really looking for in terms of a research or teaching assistantship. International students are also considered for scholarships, part-time assistantships, and on-campus employment, but we can't guarantee on-campus employment before a student enrolls. Uh, for students from India, education loans are a popular source of funding as well, and we are on the list for several loan providers of their pref uh, preferred or approved universities. After admission, you need to make your enrollment deposit. This is true for both graduate and undergraduate. And at that point, our international center will work with you to prepare the I-20 that you need to get a student visa. So we don't need bank statements or financial verification until after admission. We are issuing I-20s and so students will have them when the consulates in your parts of the country open up. Many of them, I believe, are already open. So that is the conclusion of my presentation. I know I went very quickly, so I will refer you to our colleagues at Study Metro for follow-up. If you're interested to apply for Clarkson, we will waive both uh, application fee at the graduate and undergraduate level and hope that you will put us on your short list of universities to consider for the very important decision of where to study in the U.S. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'll stay on the line uh, uh, to chat with uh, any students who have questions. Thank you so much, Pauline, for being Pauline? Yes, I'm still here. I was just saying that I'll stay on the chat uh, for anyone who has questions for me. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Colin, for coming here, for giving this uh, such an informative and very crisp presentation. And thank you so much for sponsoring the entire event. It was, It is always a pleasure working with you guys, and it is all your support that we are able to pull such kind of event. Like, uh, this is the fourth time in this particular year that we have done this from last, uh, since the lockdown started. And it is all because of the uh, you guys that we are able to do this again and again. Thank you so much for sponsoring. And please stay with us for some more time, wherein we can forward the questions to you. Perfect. And I will request the uh, team to please forward questions to Colleen. She is there with us. Students, if you are listening, please do put down your questions in the question box. Please do mention the university name at Clarkson University and put down your questions. Colleen is there with us to take the questions. Thank you so much, Colleen. My pleasure. Bye-bye, everybody.